This is my personal W220 S500 sedan. There's a couple things really unique about this car. Number one, on the VIN plate, date of manufacture is stamped 6 of 1999. So this is one of the very first W220s shipped into the USA. And that also means it's one of the first cars with aromatic suspension. The second thing is, and I want you to look at the license plate. I purchased this car 11 years ago. And when I drove it home, I didn't realize how I got home. And on the back, it said age 67. And I was actually 67 years old when I purchased this car. Of all the Mercedes Benz I own, a lot of times I'll go to this S500 when I want to go cruising or even drive downtown because the roads are so bad. They're getting so bad everywhere that I really like driving an aromatic car, even more than an ABC car. Maybe you've seen some of my other videos on the ABC suspension. This thing is such a dream to drive. And I know somebody said, oh, can't those things are hard to work on. Oh, they're so expensive. Oh, they're money. If you're going to own one of these cars and enjoy it, you're probably going to have to learn how to fix it yourself and at least diagnose it yourself. I just got an email today from a guy who has one of these and he's having all kinds of problems trying to get his aromatic fixed. He's got a slow leak. He's had it into a shop. They changed the valve block and it still leaks and he took it back in and now they're not communicating with him and he's beside himself. What am I gonna do? The nearest dealer in his area is over a hundred miles away. And I had to chuckle. <laughs> because I realize that today I'm going to release my new product that will help people find the slow leaks in their aromatic Mercedes Benz. And this is the product right here, a slow leak detector primarily designed to find the slow leaks in your aromatic struts and in your valve block. Let me give you a little background. It was a little over a year ago and I was chasing a very, very slow leak here on this left rear strut, leaked down just enough that it was really irritating. And of course, if you live with those kind of leaks, you're gonna keep running the pump and wear the pump out. So I knew it had to either be in the valve block, the line or the strut. And I really didn't believe it was in the strut because the strut had recently been replaced. So, <laughs> I wanted to follow my own advice. Don't throw parts at it. You know, diagnose a problem. And I'm thinking, I need some sort of tester that I can hook up to compressed air. I can hook this up to the top of the strut. By the way, look at here. This is not easy to get access to the top of these rear struts in the W220. But we were successful. We hooked this up. I applied compressed air, you know, and then you turn it off to lock it in. And I'll show you a quick clip of here of how this worked out and how successful this was. Okay, now I can hook up the air. Once that's hooked up, I'm going to turn the valve on. And we're going to start filling this with about 110 PSI. It doesn't take too long, just a few seconds and it will start to rise. Once I'm sure this is as far as it will go, I'm going to turn the valve off and let's check pressure. But look, it's already starting to leak down. I have the valve closed so that, you know, I don't have anything going back through the air hose. It's all closed off to the gauge. I did spray a bunch of soapy water on this gauge to make sure there's no leaks. But what I wanted to point out was the airmatic suspension holds a lot more pressure than just 100 pounds. But 100 pounds is going to usually be enough to test for a leak in the aromatic strut. I'm going to look at my watch. You know, we shut that down about three or four minutes ago. We're going to come back in eight minutes to see what's happening. We'll also check the back end of the car. We've been 10 minutes. It's gone from 98 down to 70 PSI. So what's nice about this is I know I can replace the strut now and not be concerned it might be a leak in the line because it could be either or. But with this test, 
I'm pretty confident. I've got a strut over there. Let me show you what I'm install now. I just want to mention that the struts I use are not brand new. <laughs> Don't you just love unboxing videos? <laughs> well, I like the r not products. They're very reasonably priced. This was right around $400. You compare that with a new OE strut. You know? <laughs> but they do a great job. The quality is great. And this is what it looks like. It's long and cumbersome, right there. So that's what we're going to be installing. I'm not going to do an install video on this. There are at least 20 or 25 videos on YouTube on how to install Aromatic rear struts. But we will come back after we get this installed and just for the fun of it, we'll go ahead and test the new one with it installed in the car. Take a look, you can't imagine how I feel. You know, it's Friday, late afternoon. We figured we had to have a success today and we've got it. I couldn't even get this over 100 pounds before I changed the strut. Now I came up to 109, closed the valve off. It's been 15 minutes and it's holding steady at that pressure right there. And here it's been over a year and, and this stays right up where I want it day in and day out. So I'm going to offer this tester. I've had a lot of requests for it. I didn't really want to make it, but I'm going to make it, but I'm going to provide it in a kit. That'll keep the cost down. You can assemble it yourself. It'll come with complete video instructions on how to use this on your own Aromatic Mercedes-Benz. This is something you can do yourself because I don't think anybody else is going to do it for you.